Hey, what's up, you again, guys? This is Paul from Harlequin's Code. I'm from the I'm I'm a web developer, programmer by profession. I'm from the Philippines, but working here in Singapore as a software engineer. And today I will walk through with you guys on how to decompress a single zip file in GoLang. Early on, we have uh, compress compression of any single file using uh, golang uh, uh, using this uh, zip uh, format uh, which is uh, currently supported by golang itself and um, and today uh, we want to decompress that uh, compressed zip file format uh, to extract again that uh, particular uh, file so using uh, this uh, new command that we are about to create and then uh, Let's see what will happen guys. Okay, let's dive into it. Okay, early on guys, uh, we are having this uh, tutorial series which is now we're we are about to create a new command called the DC uh, file. Yesterday or the other day, we have done the DC DIR in our previous uh, uh, tutorial series prior to this uh, video that you are currently watching um, uh, yesterday we have done the what you call to extract the entire directory uh, using this uh, newly created command that we have created the dcdir this is the one guys with only one argument right now we need to add more one more uh, for this uh, go copy uh, series here so as you know how to create a new command and then uh, we cut short our time and then uh, we add this new command here a new what do you call uh, dc file.co meaning uh, to decompress uh, any single file which has a zip uh, compression technology earlier we have this uh, we have this what do you call compress file this compress file command the com command uh, this is the one guys the com uh, com file compress any single file which uh, will compress uh, single file uh, well, can can we have a quick tour uh, go copy and then uh, com file see this one is a single command guys uh, again our favorite uh, folder for testing and then uh, we need to extract the uh, we need to compress the index.html there and then we throw to uh, b this b is, i think is not exist let me take a look this one we try to compress this index.html which is uh, 80 kb at the moment uh, the b is not exist guys so uh, well, what I want you, to, I, I want, uh, we want this to compress the index.html and throw to B uh, folder. And I press enter. Then the B, I refresh my mind. Then it, there you go. The B is there. And then the zip uh, compression format there. Now the 80 KB become uh, uh, 15 KB only. So it reduces a lot right now we have this uh, com file which is to compress to make any uh, to make a file uh, compress using this uh, zip format right now we want to create a new for new command to extract back the the file which uh, which the original file called the index.html uh, this is what we are doing going to to do right now okay so as you can see we created a new file here uh, dc uh, we call this command as a dc decompress file then i paste this to catch out our time again this is to create a new command again guys as you know from our previous uh, discussions uh, about the regarding this cobra new command to create a new command and then uh, register the new command so that it will display in this uh, nice console here uh, as you can see we don't have the com what do you call the dc file yet I, okay 
I will try again to just to show you. We don't have this yet. Uh, then we need to register all these these things. Again, uh, we have this uh, little error here, the red color uh, DC file because this one we need to create a new um, log here. Same with the DC DIR from our previous uh, video. So we will just copy here and then we can make a DC file. This is uh, related to the command then old uh, we need to log, we need to turn on or off the lagging. Okay, so but it's up to you guys if you want to log or not then it's up to you. So right now we have this DC log okay guys so i captured our time so i pasted this uh, done this for you uh, we need to create a new uh, for this to cater every time you have the config.yaml file here you need to create a new struct for this so i named this as a config dc file to make it a very specific variable or struct or anything make sure guys that uh, when you create a new variable or anything a function um, it should be unique and uh, very specific you don't repeat uh, simil similar or exact uh, variable name and uh, exact uh, function name but with different uh, uh, what do you call but with different uh, arguments or uh, parameters there this is uh, I usually check and uh, happen in uh, in our in one of uh, my experience as a as a developer but that time is a uh, c-sharp um, when i deal with some some of the codes our one of our legacy systems there um it's a lot of uh, what do you call inconvenience for us uh, for us a uh, developer it's like we cannot think uh, this is my opinion guys and uh, we know we're entitled to our own opinion <laughs> but uh as a matter of uh, uh, fact that uh, we need to organize uh, our uh, things even the variables and the functions normally I will normally I I encounter many times uh, regarding the, the dissimilar uh, function name but with different uh, different uh, parameters there but really uh, sometimes I, I feel not uh, uh, what do you call uh, maybe an unhappy or something like that because if you touch this uh, function name you need to check every time uh, other functions or similar functions that uh, this function called in many pages or many events or many uh, source codes there and then you need to supply every time you touch this uh, one function name and then really uh, uh, give us a lot of headache because you need to trace all the functions that these functions uh, really called especially if this is the prime functions that really uh, used in most of the pages there I think uh, this one is like uh, they don't they do not think uh, what you call other names or maybe specific names so that when you search this specific function you will know itself directly that this is the only page uh, this is the only function that use this uh, use this uh this page or specific uh, naming so that you will be know you will know that uh, you can pinpoint directly when you go to the definition or go to the the the, the source of this uh, function then you will know straight away you will know you are very clear that uh, what to do and what what to touch there in that function so I hope I can impart with you guys some some of my experience that uh, when I work on some of our uh, developers there when you inherit all those uh, source codes there. But anyway, it's just my opinion, guys. But leave me leave me a comment below if you if you encounter the same or if you prefer that way. Or we don't know, no, no, I don't know. So leave me a comment below. So anyway, we proceed, guys. Then then. Uh, uh, I created this config DC file. Uh, that's why I like to be uh, very specific when in terms of a uh, variable name and uh, function names, all these things. 
and then uh, I created this uh, DC file log as usual I default it to false and then uh, below we need to and still in this function because every time later on guys I will show you how why we are uh, putting here in this uh, main function here um, this this purpose is uh, is when the Viper itself uh, will detect any changes when your program especially if you are if especially in this software the go copy that we are uh, writing in from scratch because uh, in our advanced advanced uh, session for this this will be our uh, what they call it will run as a service as for example in our run as a windows service this one is in our os level there so it will run uh, uh for i don't know nothing is for <laughs> forever so anyway um you can run this but when somebody change the config.yaml file or change the variables there our program no need to reload or no need to stop the service just to refresh or to capture all those uh, latest variables here that the user or admi system admi administrator key in some uh, um, information from the from this uh, config.yaml file any configuration changes here will detect automatically by this uh, viper that is why we need to recall this uh, viper here every time this unmarshal key is to reload all uh, the settings there the configurable variables and then load it to our uh, variables that we are using in our program right now i need to copy this again um, this time this is the i'm just copying and then we head over to dc file and this is the one uh, i need to trace again the thing guys just remember and then uh, we use the con hold on guys we need to make this first con uh, dc file and then we call this okay so we can reuse this uh, below the array and then uh, okay we supply this and then this one and then this uh, variable is uh, dc um what do you call file something dc con dc uh hold on guys this is the one guys uh, dc file to make it to ensure everything is there then okay so we capture everything then this variable should be no errors here yes okay now we can try to build this go build now no errors guys uh, right now we need to reload this thing to see the new command has, has been created yes okay dc file is there decompress any single zip file right now uh, we have this uh, b uh, with the index.zip file we try to decompress this by the way this one is uh, how many arguments or oh, only one also guys so the argument there is only the source and then same thing with the compress file so right now we need to decompress this using our newly created commands uh, go copy uh, dc file and then the c the directory the b and then the index you need to be complete guys and specific and then uh, i will just no no need only this then press enter there you go it will decompress and then uh, just just extracting here yes correct then the atkb is there so by default it will follow the naming convention here without the zip and then uh, it will create a folder and then the contents and the files are there so now the atkb is back and when you click there is a files there the contents so now our working uh, dc file to decompress the file is now uh, working guys so uh, now it's totally working so 
maybe uh, until here guys then uh, see you in my next uh, tutorial series here in uh, Maharlikan's Code okay that's all for today guys and uh, I hope you enjoy our tutorial series here in uh, Maharlikan's Code uh, regarding this uh, Go copy which is our project here uh, written in pure Go uh, this project is uh, is a very lightweight uh, automated backup file software for you and for your uh, use usage and for your commercial or whatever you intended to use this as long as you subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, stay active in my channel and uh, I hope you share and uh, if you if you did not subscribe yet uh, please consider subscribing to Marlikan's code and uh, leave me a comment below so that uh, I may know uh, uh, what is your interest in uh, uh, in our next or future tutorial series here in uh, um, Harlequin's code um, may God bless us all thank you and uh, bye bye